Hey everyone, so in today's video, I wanna talk about an open FPGA for Neo Geo. And I am not talking about Neo Geo Pocket, like this can normally play if you have the adapter. I'm talking about the, the Neo Geo, the console Neo Geo. So this is pretty cool and this is a very good sign of things to come for other consoles like NES or Super NES. So this is, again, like I mentioned before, this is really opening up a lot of things to the analog pocket. So I can't wait to show everyone. But first, let's start with the basic YouTube stuff. Please leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, let's get into the video. All right, so here we are on the computer side. So here is what you're gonna need to use Kind of like how I showed you before, the last GitHub's with the Game Boy Color and the Game Boy Advance. Here's where you'll have everything you need. This is a little bit more confusing than the other ones, as this is still a alpha point a zero point five. So this is still very early in development and is, you know, not really. I guess it's public, but it's you know, it's not the final release, just to say at least. So there's still got some more stuff to try to work out. They make note of that, as you can tell. It says alpha zero point five. So. You know, it might not be the easiest, but if you like playing around with these things, by all means, go ahead. So, it's kind of like how the installation is very similar to what we've already done. You download the file, and then you just drag and drop it into the root. That's it. So, you go to the, and I'll include everything in as well. You go in, you download this, unzip it, drag and drop. That's it. Um, if, and you know, as this gets more developed and more, games get are compatible this will work very this will work very well I, I already played a metal metal slug and it runs very good now there are some times where it slows down a little bit where maybe there's a lot more intense action happening on the screen it'll slow down a little bit but other than that for the most part it works very very good so one of the things you're going to need to find is a un, un bios hey uh, was that? <laughs> bios 1.0 and you're gonna need a 000-LO decimal LO. So these are the two items you're gonna to need to put in the uh, commons folder along with the games. Now they recommend the dark soft pack games. Now for this, I'm gonna put in everything you're gonna need. Uh, you're gonna to have to Google this just like kind of like all the other stuff where I can't really show you where to find this legally. So you just need to Google. Google's gonna be your friend on this one. This one might be a little bit harder to find, but it's, it's out there as well. It's all out there. Um, I was able to find it. I'm sure you're all gonna be able to find it as well. Now, fortunately, I still don't have my dock, so I can't test this part, first and second player, because I would like to test that. But this is the full Neo Geo. This is not the Neo Geo Pocket, and it looks beautiful when it runs. So, what I'm gonna give a shot is I'm gonna put Metal, Metal Slug one and X. I'll try King of Fighters 94 and 95. And uh, let's put, do one more. I'll try King of Monsters too. Let's try that one. Um, that, that's about it. It's pretty simple. Let me see if I can get some stuff and just show you what you need to do. All right, so when you unzip the file that I showed you previously, all you do is drag and drop it. I'm not going to replace it since I, I have already moved the 15 files over. So I'm just going to cancel it. And then you go to asset and G common. And this is where you are supposed to put the game. So And also the configuration files as well. The uh, UNI BIOS and the 000-LO decimal LO file. Now this is where you put the game. They have pre-made folders here along with the JSON file. So you know what, I just, to be on the safe side, I just copied it over. This is a game JSON file. And other than that, I'll show you how to run the rest on the analog pocket itself. And like I said, there are still some bugs that they're working out. Not everything works perfectly. Even the stuff that they said worked perfectly don't always work perfectly. But you know, this is a great start. I can't wait to see this for something like Nintendo, like NES or Super Nintendo. That's, that's going to be amazing when that kind of stuff comes out. That's awesome. So, all right, let's move over to the pocket now. All right, so we are back. Now, let's talk about after everything is on, and this is where sometimes it gets a little weird. Uh, let me turn it off. What I've noticed so far, like I mentioned, this is an alpha. So this is not a final version. 
So keep that in mind. There are going to be plenty of issues. There are going to be times when you're going to have to just restart the console. That way um, you can get a game to work. That happens to me several times. Sometimes some games work when I play it. Sometimes they don't. I turn it off, turn it back on. Sometimes they work. It's, uh, you know, it's just what it is. Um, what I've noticed is every time you turn it off and turn it back on, you're going to have to put in the BIOS information. Oh, and this is one of the other ways you have to do it. You got to load each individual item. See? There we go. One at a time. And then it loads. Now, this is not going to be the fastest loader as you can imagine. So, you can look. It's taking a sweet time there. It's going. Uh, one of the other things I've noticed, I would say, is that occasionally it doesn't work. Um, so like Metal Slug X, I played it earlier, it worked fine. I tried it a couple minutes ago, it didn't work. Uh, Metal Slug worked fine, and then I tried it and it didn't work, but then I turned it off, I turned it back on again, it works. Keep that in mind when you were doing this, this is not a final product, this is something that's still being worked on, but the fact that you can play these games is awesome by itself. So, let's load it up, so as you can see, every time you do it, you gotta do a, uh, a uh, what's it called the bio setup and like i've always mentioned all credits goes to everybody who's worked on this pro uh, on this on this project um as i don't know how to say his full username everything goes to him all the credits is amazing that they're doing this if you can support him on patreon uh everything's on the github um i'm sure he'll appreciate anything anybody wants to give on you guys but all right so here's where you select the console let's just do usa sometimes it doesn't work with usa sometimes i gotta use japan but well, you know, what are you gonna do all right and let's do console let's see this worked last time but didn't work the first time so let's play a game now you only have to do this one time when the analog pocket is on let's see let's see if it works this time last time it didn't work let's see Mm, this happens before. It's going to put me in an endless loop. Yeah, it's going to be an endless loop now. Awesome. Okay. All right, these really mess up the game too. Okay, let's uh, let's try a different game. Uh, let's do King of Fighters 94. These games do take a second to load like you've seen. Uh, they're not, this one is not as bad as Metal Metal Slug X, but I think it's still, it worked last time I tried it out. Like I said, sometimes it's a hit or miss. It also depends on the bio setup sometimes too. Let's see what happens. Look, I got a Z error this time. You know, and last time I didn't get that Z error. Last time it actually ran. So let's go and let's try another one. Might have to end up restarting it and changing the BIOS information. Let's try Metal Slug. That was the one that was running in, my, in the intro when I was first talking. With the exact same BIOS setup too. So that means sometimes it can be very finicky. I might just select Japan uh, and maybe Arcade just to get it working because I think that worked last time too. Let's see. There we go, this one worked off the bat. Let's put the volume up, the way you guys can hear it. Okay. And it looks really good. It looks better than, than some of the other emulators that I've played that do play Metal Slug, or just a GBA version. All right. But it does slow down when you get to some more heavier combat. Let me just show you when, let's grab items there we go nice what do you like most like yeah, it's going it's going it runs very good though for the most part Let's see if i can show when it does slow down Yeah. 
Need a lot more explosions at once. There you go, it's slowing down a smidge. But for the most part, this is really solid build. But there's still some things I gotta get fixed. Like I showed you the Z80 error or um, just the infinite loop. So what I want to do is, let's try another game. Let's go Neo Geo. Let's try 95. Let's see if that works or it gets the same error. This load time is really a killer. So might, in the future, some of these videos, you might see it go faster. It's going to be just double time just to cut off some of this extra wait time. Man, this is slow. Whoa, I, I get it. Hey, I'm happy to have the OG. I'm, I'm not going to complain at all. Uh, Z error, Z80 error. And these are the ones that he put could be used. That's right. King, is it? King Monsters or something like that. Here we go. This one's much faster. This one said there was a bug for the audio. Cause see, this one works. It looks like a cut so. <laughs> Tokyo. This is pretty cool though. Oh. Oh, and the other buttons work, which is amazing. I never use these two buttons. <laughs> Looks like this Tokyo looks like Paris. And you can see there's it's still some greenness there. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. All right, let's try it for a different bio setup. So I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on. Take a new adding consoles. I'm gonna have to switch out my 32 gig for a 64. All right, let's try, let's try metal slug X again. This one works with Japan, so let me put Japan settings. All right, we're back. So now we gotta do the bio setup. So let's uh, select Japan this time, but I think this is A. There we go. Um, let's do, try console. If anything, I maybe need to find, maybe need to try a different BIOS. See if that works better. All right, let's see. Hopefully it works this time because this one is a very good one. I mean, it worked. It's annoying. Oh no, it's gonna put us in that loop. Yeah, it's gonna put me in that loop. Why are you not working all of a sudden? You were just working a second ago. This is what I mean, it's hard to, to get this working. All right, maybe I'll try a different BIOS and let everybody else know. Apparently, the version 4 one will work too. And maybe that one would work better, I don't know. All right, we're gonna try loading this again. Let's put arcade this time. It's the last one we're gonna try. Just messed up, because I, I played King of Fighters 4. I already set up for Japan and Arcade. Let's see how this goes. And if this doesn't work, I'm gonna try updating the BIOS. They recommended version one, but I've heard version four working. So maybe that might be a better fix. So let's see what happens. All right, I'm gonna go try and switch it out and see, see if that works. Because it's not working. Try King of Fighters real quick. Okay. At least this one won't take too long to load. Now Z80 error again. All right, let me be right back. Let me see what I can do. 
All right, so I went ahead and put the version four of the BIOS. So it's a little different. Unlike the other first one, you just got to start, hit the BIOS first, and then you click files you need. So let's go to, to Metal Slug first. I'll just cut through this part. Okay, so it's almost done. Look, see, this is version four. It says it's a European arcade, whatever. As long as it works, that's all that matters. And it seemed like it did when I tested it a couple seconds ago. So let's see what happens now. Uh, of course, now when I put it on camera, it, uh, it wants to be shy. Uh, let's try. I'll go back to you in a second. I'm not giving up on you. Oh. First got a hit here, and this one gave me some error last time too. And at least this one loads faster. Metal, Metal Slug X takes a little bit of time to load. So that gets annoying when that one doesn't work. But this should this one should work too, no problem. It just, just worked a second ago. There we go. Okay, so right, up, right off the bat, at least this one worked. There you go. The King of Fighters 94. So this is the version four that seems to work. You should keep adding credit. <laughs> okay. Yes. Huh. All right. You can tell, obviously it works. Select adds credit. Play this game in forever, so forgive me if I you know suck at this. Damn, I suck at that. <laughs> okay, let's go back to Metal Slug. I'm determined to get that working on camera, so I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna cut out just to get it started. Okay, and one last one. All right, I'm gonna cut out here and let's do its thing. Okay, so we're back. It's almost done. Let's hopefully it works this time. Okay, let's see. There we go. This time it works. Don't ask me why it does that, but okay. Uh, I like having another button to use. Apparently, LNRs aren't working right, so I'm not gonna test it out. I wanna show you the. Gameplay first. Oh, I died. <laughs> I'm gonna add as much life as I want. Here we go. And I died again. <laughs> Runs very good for the most part. Like I mentioned there are some times where it does slow down, and I think I can show you that soon. It slows down more towards the boss fight. For the majority of the fighting, it's very good. Let's do that. Should be slowing down there soon. Over here. It slows down a little bit. Not, like I said, not the worst thing in the world. Stuff in key still playable. But it looks like version four was much better off than uh, any of the other ones for the BIOS. All right, everyone. I'm happy this thing just works all right everyone thank you for showing up and watching my video please leave a like and subscribe i will do more updates on this one as as it gets better and, and when the final release comes out i'll do another video and by then it should be a lot better than this all right thank you everyone have a good one